so much for joining me today. I have gotten a variation on a question around working from home, how I work from home, my workflow, how many hours I work from home. So I thought I'd make a video on it. I got these questions several months ago, but I'm pretty busy. I'm excited to finally make that video for you and I hope you enjoy it. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tumi. I'm a medical doctor, a poet, a dancer, and passionate about holistic health. And I love creating videos on topics around plant-based living, raw veganism, minimalism, holistic health in general, and dance. If any of that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below. Let's get this video started. Why I work from home. I've been working from home for several years now. And the short answer, the short reason is that I love the freedom and the flexibility of working from home. I also, outside of this year, was traveling basically full time with my sweetheart. And so having the flexibility of working from the road, wherever in the world we were, was of really high importance to me. I'm a doctor and a dancer, as I mentioned. And these are two things you would think, two professions you would think you couldn't do from home. And I've been doing it for years from home. And so I wanna share a little bit about how I do that in this video, whether you're on the road or you are stationary, which I have been since we had our baby, you can absolutely work from home, I believe, if that's your joy, if that's your intention. Um, as long as you do things, I think, in a way that are aligned with your heart desires and your goals, so to speak. So the first thing I want to talk about is the overall idea for me, which is that I start the day. I have a video actually on that I just created, I think it was last week, on my morning routine, my morning rituals as a mama. So check that out. That will give you an idea of the flow of my day. Um, in the morning. So in terms of my work, I start my work really with dance class. I have a daily dance class I do wherever in the world I am. And it is something I've honed through the years. I was part of a dance company in New York City. I've taken that and my experience and honed a dance class for me that incorporates the rehearsal time, my rehearsal of whatever new dance piece I'm creating. I create healing poem dances. So dance pieces crafted from original poetry that are created to instigate and ignite the healing process of who watches them. So I'm almost always working on a healing dance poem. So I do that along with dance exercises, part of my first work activity of the day. And that's usually about an hour to an hour and a half. And then I segue into something else that's creative. I really love the idea of creating before consuming, before I read anything, before I read my emails, before I read my medical, medical literature, um, I'm creating. And that just feels really good. I'm a morning person. And so I think part of also crafting your work from home life is really honoring your energy, your specific energy. If you're somebody who's a morning person, then do your creative work in the mornings, what I would recommend. And that's what I do. So I love to do a creative task, whether it's filming this YouTube video like I'm doing in the morning after my dance class, whether it's creating content for my membership program, whether it's developing recipes for my clients and patients, something creative that I do after my dance class and rehearsal is what I'll do. Then I usually go and spend time with my baby, um, doing nap time with him, playing time with him. And then I go back to working again. And sometimes I shared this in my morning rituals video. I then will do things like checking emails while he's sleeping and napping. Workflow of the day is that I do my dance class and rehearsal time. I then segue into some sort of creative content creation work. I then will um, then move into things like checking emails and returning emails um, and more creation work. And then in the afternoon is where I will do my sessions with my clients and patients. I see most of my clients and patients online via things like Skype or FaceTime or Zoom. 
depending on where we are in the world, I might also do home visits with my patients and clients, especially if they have something that I need to see them face to face or do a physical exam for. But most of the time, and definitely most of the time these days, since my baby was born, I'm doing mostly online consultations. So I do that almost always in the afternoon. That's the flow of my work day. In terms of hours, it's definitely not a, not a set time, but in general, I'm working about four hours a day, including my dance class and rehearsal, including my emails, including my session time, um, including content creation. I do not spend more than four hours in general uh, on, during my work days. And I always take one day off during the week. That's what I call my Sabbath day. Usually it's a Sunday, completely off the computer, away from technology and away from work. I find this so helpful to restore myself, to fill my well, so to speak, so I can go back and be of service again during my work days. Four hours might seem like very little, but I believe so much in flow. And I believe that when I'm working from a place of self-care, of deepest excitement, when I am channeling spirit, as I call it, the amount of hours, it does, I don't need to work very much. And I can really share and create work that I think is of highest caliber to then share and be of service to other people. I start my work day usually with an intention prayer and lifting up the intention of being of service through my passions and my talents. Every single day I start with that intention and I think that helps to put me in flow, as does throughout the day recentering through breath, recentering through stretching and movement, recentering by um, connecting with my family, with my beloved, with my baby, by going into nature. That is scattered throughout my work day. I do that. I also stand, do I um, work in a standing and dynamic workstation. So I do standing desks sometimes. I work on my my um, bouncing ball, which I am right now, my birthing ball, uh, exercise ball. Um, sometimes I'm squatting while I work. All of this keeps me present as I work and I create. So I do wanna say that my work hours are not fixed, but on average, again, it's about four hours. Some days, Due to things with my my family, due to errands I have to do, it's only one to two hours I get in. Some days it's five hours. I am very flexible. I've become even more flexible having become a mama. So whew, I really want to share that because I think we can get into this mentality of I have to put in a certain amount of time. I've really let that go, especially with motherhood. And instead, it's about more of, again, how am I being of service? Um, how am I being creative? How am I being aligned with my talents and my passions? And if I do that, whether that's one hour or it's five hours, my work has been done for the day. Sufficient enough is the day. I also want to share that it can be very helpful to be smart about your gear, smart about the tools you use. I'm a minimalist. I use very few tools in my work. I also work with a platform called Podia that I absolutely love. I've been a member of Podia now for more than, I think more than 16 months. And I really enjoy this platform as a way to create content, especially online content. So my membership program is on Podia. I create my newsletter through Podia and send email blasts through Podia. So it's a way to keep connected to my community. I've loved working with Podia over the past um, year and a half. And I'm now an affiliate with Podia. And I wouldn't be an affiliate with them if I didn't love and trust their work. I really feel like on the back end, they have a beautiful team that can really support me. Anytime I have any issues, I write to them, they get back in touch with me so quickly. I found it to be 
quite seamless working with this platform. And so if you're interested, if you're a content creator, if you're somebody who's an entrepreneur, if you work from home, any of these things, I would definitely consider Podia as something to, con to work with. And I'll leave my affiliate link with them down below in the description box. Check them out. I highly, highly recommend them. So I use Podia uh, to help my work be even more in flow as I'm creating and sharing content. I'm interested to know from you what tools, what gear, what practices help you stay in flow or give your work life and work day even more ease. Please share that, that down below if you have any tips to share for our community here. And one thing I do want to say is another practice that I've been nurturing um, is one of releasing perfectionism. I talked about this in my morning rituals video. So getting it done rather than being perfect, but working from a place of trust and again, flow helps all this. Releasing this idea of perfectionism when I'm creating my work has helped me so much. And I'm human. There's there. Are, there several days where I wish I had more hours to put in to create work that is exciting to me. And it's not my reality, but I would rather, again, have the life that I desire and not spend eight, 10, definitely not 16 hour days working. That's my personal choice and people might be different. For me, I would rather spend the four hours working in a non-continuous way where I'm integrating self-care, where I'm integrating time with my, um, taking breaks with for time in nature and time with my family and time for myself and then stopping my work day by about five o'clock in the evening so I can then wind down and relax. That's my excitement. And I love being able to do that. And that works beautifully for me. And I love my work, life, play, family, connection, balance. And I wanna nurture that. And um, so it's not perfect, but it's a life that I love. And I hope that some of the things that I shared here, the flexibility of hours, the workflow of the day, the gear and tools that help to keep things easeful, and um, for me is of benefit to you. So I hope it was, and if it was, please give it a thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up, share it with anyone you think might benefit, and subscribe for more videos like this. I send you so much love wherever in the world you are. Keep creating and know that whatever work you do, again, I'm a dancer, I'm a doctor, I'm a poet, I'm able to do this work and create great income for myself, enough income that I put 50% or more of that income into savings, um, into investment every month. If you're interested in that kind of video, let me know. But whatever work you do, I believe you can create that work life that is aligned with your greatest um, fun and greatest excitement and do it flexibly from home or on the road. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, whether on holistic health matters and health concerns, or for life coaching and creating the work life you desire and the, the life period you desire, then check out my, web, my website down below in the description box. You can um, request to work with me one-on-one -on -one and we can get that set up. I send you so much love wherever in the world you are. Take care.